Hola Pisces Sun, Gemini Moons, welcome to your 2021 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. When you view this is when you were meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. And that being said, go check out your 2020 Sun Moon readings that are in my playlist. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments, so be sure to post yours up. First portion of this reading, I will go over your traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2021. Second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up in the four separate quadrants. Other things to mention, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Check out my playlist for my what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign, which is a work in progress. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your reading which is your uh, traits, your combination. So Pisces, Sun, Gemini, Moon. You are, wait, adaptable, impressive, and willing to sacrifice oneself. You can also be indecisive, inconsistent, and do not look before you leap. Although you are the chameleons of the zodiac, you also you can also be found mimic mimicking others and are very impressionable. Your dual personality is at odds with one side being dreamy and the other logical. And those two personalities are forever changing to the point that people have a hard time keeping up with you. You often say you will before thinking it out, then might not end up following through and doing. Even though you're intelligent, you rely heavily on your intuition for what you lack in common sense or street smarts. You can charm the pants off anybody and with your sense of humor, you are likable and make friends easily, which is good because you're a social creature and need friends in your life to share your struggles. Be careful not to associate with unscrupulous characters because as wide-eyed and trusting as you are, they can sway you too easily. You need a partner who will encourage your original ways and independent spirit. You may not fare well in a leadership position since decisiveness and consistency are not your strong points. However, colleagues do respect you because you adapt very well to any situation and find solutions quickly. Mentally, you are strong and like to learn new things as long as they hold your attention long enough. You have incredible innovation in theory, but not the attention span to put it into practice. You will need to incorporate more order and discipline when it comes to your career. So, Holy Spirit Angels, if I can guide the universe, can you please have your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, Sun, and Gemini Moons? For the year 2021, what do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages you have to help them make their higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to mine through your messages for their greater good would be greatly appreciated and we thank you i see sun gemini moons what do you see what do they need to know for the year 2021 let me get these out of the way what do you see for january february march for pisces sun gemini moons january february march we have the queen of swords in the upright good stuff april may june pisces sun gemini moons we have the tower card not so good stuff july august september pisces sun gemini moons the devil card in the upright oh in my heel october november december we have the three of pentacles okay um so we start off in january february and march with the Queen of Swords, I'm getting that you have a very good idea of where you would like to head to or where you are going. Um, you're kind of taking your emotions out of it, which might not be the easiest thing for you guys to do. And you're trying to have a clear head and you're trying to use logic and wisdom to figure out what you're going to do or how you're going to move forward in regards to a situation. Um, and not kind of let anybody stand in your way. The Queen of Swords, the quote that goes with her, she suffers no fools gladly. So I often think of her sitting in her throne and then somebody's like, you know, there's a jester trying to juggle and um, she sees right through him like he's transparent to her goals. So I feel like you know what you're doing and you kind of see the bigger picture and know how you have to get there. If that's not the case, then somebody, um, a trusted friend, an advisor of some sort, a counselor of some sort is helping you kind of figure that out. 
April, May, June, kaboom. We have the tower card. So something shocking, um, something major is gonna happen. Um, I liken the tower card to a sandcastle. No matter how you try to kind of hold it up, you know, the one side starts to give and you hold that up and then the other side starts to give and then a wave comes and just takes it all out. So the more you resist, the more it's gonna persist. The best thing you can do is when you come upon this in April, May, June, is kind of fold into it, let it evolve as it's supposed to evolve, surrender to it because out of it will come change, okay? Um, the only thing I don't like is the change that comes out of it is you jump into July, August, September, and you get into some sort of situation that is not the best situation for you. The devil card is the card of Capricorn, if that resonates for you, but you get into something that, and this is what I was talking about when it comes to people who are insidious, people that have dark motives, people that are, you know, those types of people. Um, I feel like you get sucked into something here, whether it's career, um, friend situation, romantic situation, whatever it is, there you are, you're in it and you can't break free from it. In fact, once you're in it, you feel powerless. You don't feel like there's anything you can do about it. You can't imagine getting out of this situation, even though it's not healthy, even though it's very toxic. Um, some of you can get sucked into uh, addictions actually, or somebody who who is you know having substance abuse of some sort, then it ends up being like a codependent relationship of some sort. So some sort of situation, it's kind of like out of the out of the frying pan into the fire for you guys. And I get concerned because as this connection continues in October, November, December, um, you're not valued, you're not considered worthy. Um, whoever this person is, is just, you know, doesn't, doesn't realize how wonderful you are. Okay. So I'm kind of getting like taking advantage of you written all over this. This is not a harmonious connection. It's not working out. And like I said, I, I think that they treat you poorly. They don't think very highly of you and I don't think it's a good situation. So if this resonates, consider a personal reading. This is certainly something I can help you with. Otherwise, click on the link below. It will take you to the Vimeo reading where I'll be pulling clarifiers. We'll be looking further into these situations. Other than that, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Check out my playlist for your 2020 sun moon readings. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? And for what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Otherwise, I'll see you in Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.